And welcome back to Controversy, where I actually almost started cleaning the, um, the desktop here. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. Um, okay, um, third story from the from both the girls. Mm -hmm. um, no booze, no nudity at Missouri strip clubs. <laughs> yes, What's when, the point? When, you, when you talk <laughs> about strip club, what you're going to think of is some pretty girls yeah. dancing around, taking clothing off piece by piece, and it'll be guys or even girls drinking and cheering on, put catch on... You know, the well, strap that's the idea or whatever. Of strip that's the idea of strip club. <laughs> but not in Missouri. Because the governor just um, passed the bill. There's, uh, there's a bunch of details that both me and Goff agree on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's something that, come on, no nudity and no alcohol selling in the strip club. Yeah. So why has this happened? Well, apparently, it has been pushing since 2005. Okay. Once. And, and yeah, then once. Won. And then, no, but there's, there's apparently, like, adult business association okay. that came out and kind of threatened to sue it. Like, I guess they fought yeah. against it and they won. So now well, the, okay. the Senate, like, the senator yeah. trying to put it out. Clean up, again, clean up Missouri. Do that yeah. again. Yeah. But they do have some good ones like, you know, it could not be located within yeah. 1,000 feet of school, church yes, or agree. public park. Yeah. I agree on Close that. Close at midnight. Right. That, that I just kind of like, really? Close yeah, at midnight? Yeah, midnight's too early yeah. for well, no. this strip well, club. Well, this is the thing. <laughs> is Missouri is a, is a very Bible Belt part of, of America. Mm -hmm. I mean, America's Bible Belt everywhere, but there's right. certain pockets that I've actually been through. I'm like, you know... But they're talking very, about the whole state. Yeah, no, but, uh, but I'm saying Missouri right, is a right, very... Right, right, right. Some some states are more very pro. I mean, they're all Christian, but right, right, really right. strict. Some are very open-minded, like sort of like yeah, like desperate housewife Christian. Like, oh yeah, right, we're right, Christian right. and <laughs> crazy Lord <laughs> Christian. So, or maybe Jesus. Yeah, like where you know you can actually go into a drive-in and you go to church drive-ins and stuff like that. Las so Vegas, the drive-in right. and actually the right. priest is there. You know, it's like hallelujah and all that sort of carry on. No, but, but they're talking um, about the whole state. Yeah, that's crazy. And the thing is that like, so what would happen actually at these strip clubs? Um, or maybe they start nude and then put their clothes on. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> and, a, yeah, that, and that's they, not like good. And, and, and they put lemonade. Yeah, that. and they put lemonade in the beer and you have a shandy. It's called a shandy. They just yeah, said it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a big. But it's like lolly water then. It's, they, it's they just said it's yeah. going to be a big challenge um, for all these business. But the thing is, it will cost a lot of people jobs. Um, it'll go underground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, and then, then it will be even more difficult to manage. The yeah. thing is, it's called strip club for a reason. And yeah, when people exactly. go there to just have fun and go to look crazy. at other people get naked because exactly. you're sick of looking the at yourself. The thing is that, <laughs> like, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's true. The thing is that the stupid thing about the, the some of these American states that are, are very sort of very religious, for instance, mm -hmm. I, I presume it's because of that, you know, just from my experience. Right. right. Um, at the end of the day. They didn't say anything about yeah, that, though. Yeah, but I know just right. their mindset, you know, like, you know, Jesus said, Jesus probably be at the strip club also. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> you know hey, it's all good. Um, the thing is that my whole attitude about this is that they will go underground. I and know, then the will. cops will think, oh, wow, it's got an underground right, strip right, job. Right, right. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, no one's going to bust anything. The cops are going to be there also. It's like, even with their more sort of fun that way. Beer and know? peanuts and like hooters. So, you <laughs> this, know. This, uh, this bill uh, actually got uh, opposed by the Democrat uh, representative yeah. because, not because of the nudity and things like that, but he just think that it's limited uh, the free speech. Yeah. The speech of nudity, I guess. You don't um, even have to talk when you're nude. Well, maybe they have. No, this, 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 this mean the right yeah. of ex to express themselves. <laughs> Come on. Or maybe they can do talk nudity. Okay, I'm oh, now yeah. taking off my top, oh, but no. they keep it on. Like and then there's like, oh, yeah. like that, oh, and yeah. Oh, that that would be a new kind of business. Yeah, like, a new, like you basically walk out in the sheet, and, and you not, leave the sheet on, yeah, and, and you're, you're saying, now I'm taking off this, and I'm taking off that, and like, look at this, and look at that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, called, it's called talk strip no, but show. But the thing is, think about it. <laughs> this state, the whole state, you still be able to get beer and alcohol in supermarket, but you won't be able to get it in the strip club. It sounds so funny. Look, in Missouri, mm -hmm. it's very swampy in it's certain misery. areas there, okay? They'll probably go to some swamp area, do you know what I mean, and have a tin shack and actually get, like, some girl from across the state who... It's going to take her clothes off, or guy, if it's, it's going to well, be guy and girls. Well, but if she do yeah. it in this stage, she will And then they'll go to, like, you know, sort of Walmart, get the, the beers, um, and then go to the sort of, and do their run Home strip party? show. Yeah, exactly. A exactly. house party. Because I remember, on a completely different level, in the UK, about 
over 20 years ago, um, Margaret Thatcher stopped people partying. And there was a, a clause that if there's actually more than five people in a congregation, hey. even on the street, you can be arrested. That's oh. more like our emergency decree. So what happened? True. <laughs> Seriously. So what happened? What, well, you do know that Britain, especially London, has got the most cameras per anywhere in the world mm -hmm. like you there's mean a million like CCTV? Two, yeah million two hundred of them so there's and no privacy exactly and what I'm gonna say is what happened is that friends of mine started a little thing which became a global phenomena especially in, in uh, Europe where people did underground parties like right. in abandoned houses and warehouses which end up you have to still pay to get in so you could get sort of right, right, lights right, right, and, right. and so drinking like lights entrance and fee. yeah and basically it was all illegal and the police could not do a thing about it it's because not 10 people who started millions of people within months started doing this themselves and went yeah stuff the government stuff the whole thing and that was in it was you know, then the rave culture began out of that all that Maybe this is going to be the new well, thing. Do you know rules, what I mean? Rules meant to be broken. I love breaking <laughs> rules. I hope these people do <laughs> shows elsewhere because I think it's really good. I think, you know, I'm not necessarily, I'm not in, I don't really want to see a man or woman take their clothes off. But I think if There's someone else wants to, to it, exactly, if someone wants to and have a drink and nuts with that or right, know, peanuts, right, for right, instance, right, right, right. <laughs> um, you know, just do it. Get over it. I mean, the thing is, it's going to go underground. It's like, well, well, and we're going to stop pornography. Difficult. Well, pornography will go more underground. We're going to stop right. smoking. We're going to stop this for kids buying cigarettes. They'll go and get someone else to get it. Mm -hmm. yeah, just let everyone do what they're going to do, seriously. And then it actually is more monitored that way. True, true. It's more, so, it's more surface that okay, way. Okay, and um, we've got our email. Yes, um, right yes. now we have the email for our show. If you want to send some suggestion or talk about anything in particular or any topic that we just talk. Or go on um, a date with her. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a date hotline. It's a, no, it's a date hotline to sing do and golf, and I will be a mediator. <laughs> you can just email us at controversy at the T A N network dot and I will be the one to check on it and reply you back. See, because uh, she's checking on it, should we get in the? the oh. oh. But the, um, <laughs> talking about replying back, remember we talk about no tight pants thing, and I was saying, oh, yes. oh right. you can just tell you're not Islamic, so you can yeah. just wear tight pants. Yeah. And there is one of our, one of our viewers actually yeah. uh, uh, reply to me and say that uh, it's actually you cannot do that because on every one ID it will say religious on it. Which oh. makes sense because Which they do that sense. in Thai yeah, IDs yeah. as well. Yeah, right, exactly. we didn't think about that. I was yeah. just like, oh, we can lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, it'll be scary one day when there's an idea that says if you're gay or straight on it, won't it? <gasps> Do you know what I mean? That's like, it'll happen what one day. What if you're still deciding? I'm deciding. <laughs> I'm deciding. <laughs> always, constantly deciding. Yeah. Yeah. I decided. Whatever I could get. <laughs> that's a different Actually, one. Yeah, I think that's going to be on mine also. <laughs> yeah. Desperate and dateless. Whatever. <laughs> Not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, speaking of desperate date bliss, I love you both. <laughs> and we love you. And we'll see you next week on TAN Network. Thanks for watching Controversy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.